Welcome back to another video. Today we are in the Open Grey League and we're going to run a different team featuring the Wishcash, Guzzlord, and the Gligar. So we have the Wishcash versus the Skarmory matchup here. We're going to throw this skull here. Potential debuff. We do get the debuff, which is a great start, but this is still a um, bad situation as they're going to be resisting our mud shots from our fast move. So we are going to just go for another Scold right here. Scold gets it into the red and potential farm down opportunity because they're probably looking to um, take us out right here. Makes sense. Brave Bird comes through. We go with our Gligar and we force them to switch out. They actually go into their own uh, Wish Cache here. Wish Cache is going to have to shield once and then we're going to switch out immediately because we're going to be able to resist um, the scold, but we do tank the neutral mud bomb right there. We're gonna probably tank another one here, and we're just gonna try to win the game with the Gligar, probably. Okay, we actually shield here. We're gonna potential. Um... Okay, never mind. I thought we were gonna go for the farm down. We're gonna go for the uh, dragon claw right there, and they actually switch out into the Skarmory, but we are able to farm down the Skarmory. And now they're in big trouble because whatever comes back in is going to be switch locked. They actually have their own Gligar. Our Shadow Gligar has a slight um, advantage. Um, I think we had a little bit of an energy advantage right there. We're not going to throw this Arrow Ace on timing. And we're just going to tank this move here. We do have one shield to work with. We're going to throw this Arrow Ace of our own. This is certainly going to get a shield back. And now it's going to come down to how many Arrow Aces can we throw? They know that they're going to have to get to two Aerial Aces, so we're just going to throw this Aerial Ace immediately. We take out the Gligar, and now we're going to be able to win with the Gligar ourselves, farming down that Wish Cash. So GG's to our opponent. Kind of similar team they had. They got the Gligar, Wish Cash, uh, Core, and we are able to beat that Skarmory lead. Uh, here we go again. We got the Mud Boys. This is the Shadow Quackster versus our Wish Cash. Wish Cash here is going to go for the Skull, looking for a potential debuff. No debuff right here, but does a huge amount of damage with that Skull, taking nearly, what is that, 60% right there. Mud Bomb comes through, so we are safe to assume they're not running the Aqua Tail version. They're probably running Mud Bomb Stonish. So another one goes through. We actually get them to use the Cresselia. We're going to switch out immediately into the Gligar. This Gligar here is going to be able to throw one Arrow Ace. They can tank it very easily. Uh, we're going to shield right here just to maintain the health of this uh, Gligar. We thought that we were going to go for the big move right there. They ended up going for the Grass Knot. But now we're going to apply our own pressure here. We do get the shield with our own Aero Ace. And this was a CAP tie, so that was as good as it was going to get. They actually have their own Gligar in the back. This Gligar here uh, is at a, a little bit of disadvantage because we're going to chip and dip out of there. We know that um, we can tank any move. But do we want to shield a potential dig? We don't shield a dig. We're looking for the farm down at this point. We do get the farm down. And now we're going to go for the crunch here. Not only for super effective, but potential debuff. No debuff right there. However, we are going to be able to get to another crunch because of our shield. And that is GG's to our opponent. Able to win that game with the Guzzler. So this is kind of an ABB team with the Wish Cash and Gligor uh, Horror. And then we're going to use the Guzzlord um, actually to protect against the Grass Weakness as well. So here's a tough matchup. Uh, Wish Cash versus is knocked out. Knocked out here is quite tanky. Even the Scold is probably not even going to do 25% right there. Definitely not 25% because it's not into... Um, no, actually it could be. I, I take that back. I'm not exactly sure how much damage that does. But we try to get the debuff. They switch out into the Wish Cash. We're going to go into our Gligar here. We have to tank the Skull. We do not get the debuff, so that's a positive start. We're going to go for this Arrow Ace here, looking for a shield. No shield by my opponent. And now we're going to um, have to tank this Mud Bomb right there. Even though it's not effective, we were so low, it was going to take us out anyways. Now we're going to go into our Skull with our own Wish Cache. This Wish Cache, does it survive? Mm, yes, it does. With a sliver of health, that the opposing Wish Cache... Barely survives. Okay, and then we're going to immediately switch out into our Guzzler to get a one fast move head start. They come back in with their knockdown. So what could they be hiding in the bag afraid of our Guzzler? Here we only have to worry about a sky attack, but we have two shields. We might as well use it here because our own witch catch is very low. And they do reveal that they have another uh, water type 
another mud boy with these swamper swamper is a shadow so now we have to make a call is this going to be the earthquake or the bait we go for the bait call and we do get that correctly so we know we are kind of in a good situation now we're going to be able to farm a little bit more here we're going to throw this dragon claw right before they get to a move and let's see we can switch out no we're not able to switch out of there that is brutal unfortunate that we were not able to switch out we're gonna take out this skull we're gonna take out this knocked out with our own skull with the wish cash and now it's gonna come down to who can farm each other down shadow versus non-shadow and we are able to simultaneous ko that's not bad considering uh we potentially could have lost that game i thought we had one more turn uh to potentially switch out and catch that move but unfortunately it was a it looked like a, a tie all right we got a really good matchup here. The Slazzle here versus our Wishcash. Interesting that they're staying in. We don't have to worry about any any move here that's going to one-hit KO. So we're just going to let this one go. Ends up being the Dragon Pulse. You can see it does pretty big damage, but unfortunately it doesn't KO. And now we're just going to go for another Mud Bomb. This is definitely going to get a shield or the KO. And our opponent here reveals that they have the Trevenant in the back. Trevenant here is going to have a tough time beating our back line here. So we immediately switch out into our own Gligar. We're going to shield here. It ends up being the Sea Bomb, which is fine because they're going to have to decide to shield or tank this Hero Ace. And they decide to shield it. So we are in a good situation. One shield advantage against our back line here. They try to catch a move. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen. Our um, Gligar luckily has this dig to throw back at this Bastard. It does huge damage. Roughly 70%, maybe 65%. We're going to be able to get to another dig here to take out that Bastard on. It looked like it was XL. And we're going to um, do a lot of super effective fast moves with our Gligar. Getting it down into the low red. Leaving us with the Guzzler for the cleanup to take out that Trevenant. So GG's to our opponents. Just unable to beat our backline right there. and Just too, too much of a hard counter against that team. Alright. Let's see if we can end up on a good note here. We got... Um, Wish Cash versus the Gligar. Okay. Depending on if we get the debuff or not, we might be able to uh, win or barely lose this situation. Uh, we're going to go for this Skull here, looking for a debuff. We do get a debuff, which is great. And now we're going to just switch out because all the moves are going to hurt a little bit less. This dig here. Oh my gosh. We do catch a dig against that Gligar there. So even better. We know that this is Arrow Ace, but we can uh, tank it because it's uh, debuff. They're actually staying in. They're actually staying in, so they do not want to see this Gligar. They go for another Aero Ace. Okay, now you know why they are staying in. They have an Electric type in the back. Potential two Electric types. We go for one dig here. Does huge damage. Going for another dig. Forcing them to get a shield or a KO. And we do get the KO. So this Gligar has absolutely wrecked their entire team. We're going to switch out immediately into our Wishcatcher. Not allowing the farm. And they do have the Polyrath in the back. Polyrath here. Is going to be able to get to a move. We're going to be able to tank it. Ends up being the icy win. Icy win. Not being able to take us out is going to cost them another mud bomb damage. All of this is just chip damage at this point. Because the goal is to uh, end the game with the Guzzlord. Another mud bomb gets it into the low yellow. And now we're in a good situation. We're going to be able to come in with our Guzzlord here. We're going to be able to shield. And basically we can shield our way through this win. Or we could potentially switch out later. Um, for the reset of the debuff, but we don't need to do that because they know that it is GG. So check out this team if you haven't already and let us know if you enjoyed the video.